Hey folks, this is Jake from Certainty. This is part two of our Flintlastic SA roof system series. Part one, we discussed Flintlastic SA nail base. It is an anchor sheet in our self-adhered roof systems that goes down on nailable substrates. What we're going to talk a little bit about in part two is mid-ply and ply base both of which are fully adhered rolls that can be used in our self-adhered systems. Uh, they can be used as base sheets and or interply sheets on non-nailable substrates. The first one of the two we're going to discuss is the Flintlastic SA ply base. Flintlastic SA ply base comes in a box. It is a two square roll. It is 39 and 3 8 inch wide by 64 and a half feet long. So approximately two squares of coverage. It weighs 86 pounds, <clears throat> so it's a, it's a beefy heavy sheet. Um, the Flintlastic SA ply base, as, stated, as I stated earlier, is designed as a base sheet or a ply sheet. Um, it can be used in conjunction with Flintlastic SA nail base, or it can be used on uh, suitable substrates. Um, we'll note here somewhere that there's a graphic that shows where to look for what are suitable substrates but this is Flintlastic SA ply base. The reason it comes in a box as opposed to Flintlastic SA nail base is because it has two films. The permanent blue film on the top layer just like nail base is there to create a good layer for adhesion on uh, the next layers in our self-adhered systems but with this one being a fully self-adhered rolled, it does have a blue film on it that has double release film uh, allowing you to, uh, to self-adhere the roll. Uh, the box helps protect it um, as nail base. This will need to be stored inside off the ground. And uh, when installing Flintlastic SA ply base, the uh, substrate or nail base needs to be free and clear of all debris uh, and moisture. Uh, ambient temperature needs to be 50 degrees and rising, just like nail base and our other sheet. When installing Flintlastic SA ply base under 50 degrees, please follow the cold weather application details um, on certainty.com. Hopefully the graphic shows up here. Uh, the Certainty SA ply base is a 60 mil thick roll. The uh, difference between this and nail base for the most part is the pressure sensitive SBS coating. It's a proprietary coating on the underside of the sheet that uh, once you release the film uh, allows for good adhesion to the substrate. The big brother to Flintlastic SA ply base is Flintlastic SA mid ply. This roll seen here is a one square roll. It's 110 mils thick as opposed to the uh, 60 mils thick. So it's a lot heavier roll. The actual box does weigh less. It's only 63 pounds, but the coverage is one square. Um, just like ply base, mid ply can be used as a base sheet in our self-adhered systems or an interply sheet. The mid-ply has an extra heavy weight fiberglass uh, mat built into it with the same permanent blue film on the top side with the same SBS proprietary pressure sensitive coating on the underside with a blue release film on that. Flintlastic SA mid-ply does have some extended warranty durations that Flintlastic SA ply base cannot offer. Uh, the uh, enhanced protection and performance um, is something that you may be able to sell a homeowner or a building owner uh, when choosing between the two. <clears throat> SA mid-ply is your more premium sheet. Um, we recently did NEMO testing and all you coastal folks out there, this is very important for us. We did uh, Flintlast Flintlastic SA mid-ply with a primed OSB deck um, and cap sheet, and we were able to achieve an allowable design pressure of negative 90 PSF, which is very impressive 
and passes all of our coastal ratings we were looking to pass. Um, the OSB was again primed and then we had the Flintlastic SA mid ply on it and then it was uh, had the Flintlastic SA cap sheet. Uh, so it performed very well. Uh, the actual rupture, the failure point was a rupture of the OSB decking. So if you're on a, in a coastal zone, uh, need to achieve a certain wind rating, um, Flintlastic SA mid ply coupled with Flintlastic SA cap sheet is your way to achieve that design pressure of negative 90 PSF. Both Flintlastic SA mid ply and Flintlastic SA ply base can be used in hybrid systems. Um, meaning it can be used with uh, our torturable products, GTA, um, other things like that. But I don't want to muddy the waters here in this particular series. So if you're looking for details on how to torch to these two, uh, give me a shout and I can help you figure out what you're looking for there. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to discuss the two roles in our fully self-adhered systems. So we've talked a little bit about each product. Now I wanna to get to what's in the box, what's on the box. So this is the Flintlastic SA mid-ply. Flintlastic SA mid-ply on the box here has um, the description and use, that it, how it can be used. We've talked about that, the storage. And then there's on this part, there's some application highlights. Um, we've gone over the weather, the roof surface, of uh, nailable substrates, non-nailable substrates. Um, for any additional details, please check certainty.com for uh, approved non-nailable substrates. Um, one thing that I need to mention here is during installation is we need to make sure that we allow ply base and mid ply to be cut into manageable lengths and relaxed on the roof relaxing and acclimating to the weather sure helps a lot with preventing some of the uh, some issues during installation um, we want to make sure that we leave the permanent blue film we've talked about that on nail base it's the same with ply base uh, whatever we intend to cap that same day is the extent of how much base and interply we should roll out so another note here it says stop application if proper membrane adhesion is not achieved. So maybe it's something with the weather um, or the substrate isn't clean. Uh, there's a variety of things, but just make sure you stop if you're not getting the, the correct adhesion. Um, also what's on here is some helpful details for installation in two ply system so base and cap if you're just doing mid ply or ply base and cap you want to make sure you, it tells you here what your starter roll width is uh, 19 and 11 16 and you're using a half roll um, side laps are two inches and then the end laps are four inches it's important to stagger those end laps uh, every th every uh, every 36 inches. Uh, so there's some good details on here. It also lists where to find other resources. And as we turn it here, uh, you can see that um, it talks a little bit about uh, Flint Prime SA, which is our prime primer for this product. If you have a non-nailable substrate and it's an approved non-nailable substrate, you prime prime it with Flint Prime SA, allow it to dry, but not more than four hours, then you can install um, your mid-ply or your ply base. Uh, begin at the low point of the roof, uh, see application highlights for starter road details. So you can find that in the Flint Elastic application handbook or online and certainty.com. Uh, we talked about it a little bit ago, but it shows you on here that you need to cut manageable lengths and allow to relax a minimum of 15 minutes. So it gives you a couple options here on how to do that with one person or two people. 
Um, but this is another item that isn't really talked about very much, and I'm going to try to get in close here, is we talk about minimizing T-seams. So well, the way we help with that is we give you this cross-section here of the adjoining rolls, and it's important to cut these T-seams at a 40, 45 degree angle that are about five and a half to six inches along the salvage edge. So what we're trying to prevent here are capillaries that are going to draw moisture into the roof system. So by cutting those, basically dog earing those two ends of opposite sides of the opposing rolls, then we're going to put a bead of caulking in and hand roll those in. Um, there's also cold weather details that you can do uh, that with instead of using um, flint, flint bond, you can use a cold weather detail, but we'll get to that later. So that's some stuff that's on the box here. There's other information about uh, side laps, in laps. Uh, our side laps recommended insulation is two inches with an in lap at every f uh, is four inches. I think I mentioned it before, but we've got to make sure those end laps are staggered 36 inches apart. So there should never be a straight line through the roof. We've got to stagger those end laps uh, for proper installation. And then there's also some details on two and three ply systems and then a, uh, a construction detail on a pipe. So there's lots of good information printed on the box that can help you out. Um, the again the flint elastic application handbook is really what you probably should be looking at but there's some help on the box these are some sample pieces of flint elastic SA ply base and flint, ply, uh, flint elastic SA mid ply as you can see on that permanent blue film it's got the measurements on there to help you out during installation again this is the permanent side and this being the release film. So it comes off pretty easy. It's got a proprietary SBS uh, adhesive, pressure sensitive adhesive. Um, on the box, it, I didn't mention it, but it shows a 70, 75 pound roller, whatever that roller is. Um, when we're installing mid ply and ply base, it's important to use that heavyweight roller. You wanna be careful if you're doing uh, flint bond on the in laps as not to squeeze out all of that flint bond uh, but we want to work from the middle of the roll out so we're trying to push all of the air out so this is the SA ply base this is the SA mid ply and I don't know if you can tell on here but they you know you can tell this one is the 60 mil thick this is the 110 uh, this is again has the same kind of proprietary uh, permanent blue uh, film on the front with the uh, the release film on the back same SBS pressure sensitive adhesive both of these rolls again can be used as base sheets or interply sheets um, we have a bunch of accompanying literature that can help you out um, we're going to do an installation video at a later date on the full uh, systems, but I just wanted to take this time to introduce you to ply base and mid ply and talk to you a little bit about each one. In closing, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you have any other Certainty Flint Elastic products that you'd like for me to highlight or questions that you need answered on nail base, ply base, or mid ply, please let me know. Thank you and stay safe.